Robert Nyandayeni, the first single from his long-awaited debut solo album, Matjale. Now, the artist is dedicated to excellence and has a deep understanding of music in the general and cultural emissaries. Recorded live in the backyard of the Dabana household in Mamelodi, Tabang joins us now to share more. Very good morning to you, Baba. Thank you so much. Uh, morning, Rotman. Uh, morning to the viewers. Now, growing up as the son of the late, legendary Dr. Tabane, just who is Tabang? Uh, yo, uh, uh, Tabang is just a young man, an ordinary boy who grew up in Koka Sida. Um, I, I didn't grow up in a way that I was a kid, time I was a international icon. Uh, I was just ordinary, so I didn't have any kid in Okay. Yes. So, and uh, after having uh, taken the musical route, did you yeah. perhaps feel any pressure to live up to expectations? No, no, because uh, even my father didn't want me to to play music because of uh, the pressures of the industry, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it was a calling more than anything else. You know? So I didn't feel any pressure. Even now, I don't feel any pressure. Like, I'm relaxed. Uh, this is the time. You know? Yeah, yes. you're just doing your own thing. I'm doing my own thing. Yeah. Good stuff, man. Uh, you understand that you started touring with him, with his band, rather, at yes. the, from the age of eight. Yes. What were you doing then, and uh, did that help shape your career today? Yes, I think so. Just watching him, Jay, you know, uh, he used to take me on tours just to watch him, nothing else. You know, I didn't play uh, at the time, you know, but uh, just watching him, it, it was an inspiration, like, for me, yeah, so... At the time, did you have aspirations or venture into music? No, no, not at all, you know. Uh, I wanted to go to school, you know, like as any other kid, be a doctor or whatever, you know, but uh, as I said, it's a calling. You know? yeah, my grandmother knew all along, but, uh, this is my path. Okay. Yes. So when did the musical bug bite you, like on a full-time basis? Yo. Uh, when did you decide that this is it, you want to do this full-time? Uh, it wasn't a decision as such, you know. Okay. Yeah, it was time. It was just a matter of time. Matter you know? of time. Yeah. yeah. Now, if it's clear, then uh, it happened. Okay. Yeah. When was this? Yo, uh, when I finished high school, I think that's when I went to Sweden, my first uh, trip alone overseas, you know. And uh, when I came back, I wanted to go to Teshiar and all those things. Uh, and then the bug was there, I could ready, so I couldn't do other things. Uh -huh. yes. So you guys recorded uh, The Family Backyard, isn't it? Yes. So yes. is that where you drew your inspiration? Yes. Uh, uh, at the time when we were uh, recording this album, uh, my father was very ill, you know. So uh, things of maybe moving out of the yard was difficult because it was only me and him. So I was taking care of him. So it was hard for me to go out, you know. So I told the, the, the guy who was recording me that, no, please come with all the equipment to my home, you know, okay. because my father is ill, so I can't go out. Okay. So that was one of the reasons for Ru Pushe And uh, I think it helped a lot because seeing him uh, and also Lena Harwana, you know, doing that, it inspired us a lot, you know. Ah, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Tabang, thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Kele Kele yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, that was uh, Tabang Tabane. He um, recorded live in the backyard of the Tabane household in Mamelodi. Uh, his long awaited debut solo album, Majale, is finally out, and you can get yourself a copy online and at any music store. All right. Let's take a short break now, shall we? This brings into question just the current situation that we are in crisis. That we are not protecting our children even after a criminal case is opened. It's very difficult to negotiate until to communicate to you as to where exactly are we because we have presented a comprehensive package. We have compromised a lot and if ESCOM is not going to be in their senses, it, they will really be giving us, uh, putting us into a serious problem. The story of refugees is one of resilience, perseverance and courage. 
Ours must be of solidarity, compassion and action. If they will be coming here and say they want everything free from home affairs, we can't do that. To do application for passport is a very, very big problem. They don't allow the person to have a passport as a, as a refugee. The minister, they don't care first, first about the backyarders. Ne? And then we are sick and tired. And they were fighting, you know, most family issues. Ne? That's why we want to go and build our shacks so that we can live with our children. Our province is on the move all the time. The more houses are delivered, the more people move into our province. My opinion, Mr. Infantin and FIFA, everybody agreed that VA is not going well. It's not going well, that's the reality. There's a lot of complaints. We just need to know who is referring the game. Who take decisions in the game? We have the right to know. The people have the right to know. Technology is used for both positive and negative. Some governments have blocked the internet in times of protest. With this internet blackout, it's impossible for me to do it, so I have to travel to Douala. This act is a true violation of...